Hey y'all, Happy New Year's Eve on Uncle Bub's Bell Buckle Bear Reviews. Today is a Friday's R for you. It's New Year's Eve 2021, and I have a brew for you today from the Abita Brewing Company out of Louisiana. Um, <clears throat> let's see, it's uh, Abita Springs, Louisiana, <clears throat> where my buddy uh, Ronald J. Terrio is from. And uh, Ronald Terrio has a, a, a YouTube channel, and his name is spelled T-H-E-R-I-O-T, -E I, I believe is the way you spell his last name. Y'all need to check his, his channel out. He, he does Louisiana Beer Reviews. Man, he is, he, he is forgotten more about beer than I will ever know. Uh, so check him out out of Louisiana. Uh, he's a friend of mine on Facebook. He's, he's a subscriber to my YouTube channel, and I subscribe to him. Good dude. Anyway, uh, that all being said is because uh, Abita is out of Louisiana. Today's brew is a limited series office party holiday stout from Abita. Um, this stuff is 6.8% alcohol by volume and I decided to do, I'm trying to get all my holiday brews in for the end of the year um, and tomorrow I'll be doing, of course I, I always do my, my uh, beer club beers on, on Saturday so tomorrow New Year's Day I'll be doing it but anyway wanted to try this one today before the end of the year this says on the back of the bottle it says spice up your holiday mix and mingle with this best dressed brew office party is a holiday stout brewed with oats pale caramel and chocolate malts and is hopped with Willamette hops generous amounts of cocoa nibs cinnamon vanilla and nutmeg are added to infuse the spirit of the holidays into this limited release <clears throat> So this is a limited release brew, and we're gonna try it today on a Friday's R for you. Hey y'all, just an update. A couple weeks back, I uh, I had a suggestion about leaving music off of my videos, and I asked y'all to, you know, let me know if you like music, didn't like music. Well, the no music one today out of Facebook and and uh, YouTube, I had more people, you know, suggest that I just leave the music off which it works great for me because it's easier to edit without the music. <laughs> it's so much easier to edit. So I appreciate y'all responding. I really appreciate y'all. Um, any kind of suggestions y'all have, I am open, man. I love y'all. You know, my viewers and my subscribers, I surely appreciate y'all. And any kind of suggestions you have, hey, I'm open. I don't, you know, I don't care. Y'all, y'all leave me comments. Let me know what you think. All right, <clears throat> on with the beer. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh, <laughs> look at that. That is beautiful. Just, man, if you could just see these bubbles up close. Mmm, that is a just a beautiful thing. It's a stout, so I expected it to be dark, but I can actually see quite a bit of light through it. Um, well, I say that. I see light around the edges of the glass, not necessarily, I'm looking at the sun. I can see just a little bit of sunlight through it. Just a little bit. But man, that is beautiful. Dark, nice head, man, that's just hanging around there. I love that. I love to see a head hang out like that. It's already starting to lace around the very rim of the glass. Oh. All right, so I'm a little bit stuffy because <laughs> it's a little bit cold out here. <laughs> Just a little bit. The wind's not blowing. The sun's kind of, it's partly cloudy. The sun's kind of, you know, peeking through the clouds a little bit. It's a little bit chilly and I'm a little bit stuffy, but I can still smell a roasted, a roasted aroma coming off the top of this. Oh. 
man. <laughs> That's strong. The flavor of that head, man, has some strong nutmeg. <laughs> I mean, you can taste a nutmeg in that head. Dad gum. And it said that's what it has. It's got some nutmeg in it, but boy, whew, and maybe just a tad of cinnamon. It's got cinnamon, vanilla, cocoa nibs, and nutmeg. Whew, you can really taste the nutmeg in that head. I hope it's not that strong in the body. <laughs> that's, whew, whew, I'm telling you, boom, man, you can really taste that nutmeg. Mmm. Ooh, man, it's very pronounced in the head of this thing. Mm. Ah. And it's not bad. I mean, it's good. The flavor's good. Gee, I mean, it's just a just a tad of cinnamon. Just a hint of cinnamon you can taste in the head. But, man, that nutmeg, boom. That nutmeg is really pronounced. And look at that lacing. Man, it's pretty lacing around the top of that. I love lacing. That's just awesome. It just tells me it's a quality brew. And, you know, everything I've had by Abita has been good. Uh, so I really appreciate their brewery and what they do. Um, I've had several of their brews, man. And they, they make good brew. And, uh, whew. <laughs> I'm telling you, I hope, I hope that nutmeg's not so strong in the body like it is in the head. Dad gum. Whew. <laughs> All right, so this office party is for all American workers. Hey, if y'all are out this Christ, this uh, New Year's Eve, y'all be careful. Y'all be careful, because uh, we don't want to go through the next year without you. Y'all stick around. Be careful. Watch what you're doing. You know, have a designated driver. Drink responsibly. All that kind of good stuff. Um, just be safe on New Year's Eve. All right? Because I love and appreciate y'all. And this is for all American workers. I love and appreciate y'all too. Thank you for what you do. Cheers. Wow. Okay, so in the body, <clears throat> I get just a, a hint of the nutmeg in the body and more of a cinnamon. I, I don't really get any of the cocoa nibs. I don't really get any of the vanilla. But I get more of a cinnamon type flavor in the body of it. And just a hint of the nutmeg. Which I'm kind of I'm kind of glad. <laughs> nutmeg was really strong in the head. But the, the cinnamon, is, it, it, cinnamon is more pronounced in the body of this. It's it's uh, very got kind of a thick mouth feel, which I expect from a stout. I expect it to be thick and heavy. It's kind of heavy. Um, you know, I wouldn't want to buy a six pack of this and just sit down and drink a six pack of it. It's just too heavy for that. Uh, six point eight percent alcohol by volume. It's good. You know, for one or two. I don't think I could I could kick back with a six pack of this stuff. Um, it's just too heavy. And it's got a very unique and distinct flavor with a hint of nutmeg, more pronounced cinnamon. Um, but it's not bad by any stretch. It's a good brew. It's just a little bit... Um, not your typical beer. I mean, see, what's disappointing is, is I bought this as a single, and I'm glad I did. I, I found this at World Market down in Murfreesboro, um, and they have all kinds of different beers, and you can make your own six-pack down there. So I got this because, you know, sometimes you just don't know about a brew, and, you know, you hate to buy a six-pack of it, and then it suck, and you'd be stuck with drinking five more of them. I'm kind of glad I got this in a single because I would not want to. I mean, I, I could enjoy it, enjoy it occasionally, 
but to sit down and have a six pack of this, I couldn't do it. And you know, for me, I'm a lightweight. <laughs> I'm a lightweight, y'all. A six pack's about all I can do <laughs> in one sitting. I can't do much more than a six pack, especially the 6.8. I have a hard time doing a six pack of five. <laughs> Of 5% but anyway um, this is a good brew if you can get you a single or find you some buddies and split you know split a six-pack something like that this is a decent brew um, I'm glad I tried it probably wouldn't buy it again uh, you know just because it's more of a you know limited release kind of well I probably couldn't buy it again as far as that goes but it's good it's just not great. Um, I'm glad I tried it. Put it that way. Anyway, hey, that's been a Friday's R for you this week. I love and appreciate y'all. Um, if y'all enjoy the videos, there's a little beer mug right there. You subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm here every Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Trying something different for y'all. Letting y'all know what I think about it. And, you know, hey, leave me a comment. If you've tried some of these brews I've tried, I'd love to hear from you. Love to hear any kind of suggestions you have. I just uh, love and appreciate y'all. So y'all stay tuned. I'll be back tomorrow for a Saturday Suds. I got a, another brew from a beer club and we'll drew. Um, y'all stay tuned. Take care. Cheers.